Hello fellow knife enthusiasts from around the world. Uh, I got a couple of the new Rough Rider Arctic Foxes. They are white micarta. They are exquisite. Uh, the inlay, I'm not sure what the inlay shield is made out of. It's funny how this one, the ears aren't really pointy. They're kind of rabbity. I like it though. They don't have any Rough Rider stamping on the front bolsters. Um, they come in these great boxes. This is the Warncliffe box. It is RR2308. I first saw this knife. Uh, North Star Knife Reviews it was one of his favorites. Look at that blade. Uh, I think these are all 440A steel. Um, I used to never be into white micarta because you don't want them to get all real dirty, but I just won't uh, use them in the dirt. I don't have any measurements for you on this. It's a cool blade. Great walk and talk. Uh, this blade did not come centered. It's over to the show side. But when I grab it, it gets over like that. Back springs. Yeah, I don't even know why I go into back springs and blade centering on this these knives. Um, this one was like fourteen ninety nine, fifteen dollar knife. Uh, my first Rough Rider Warren Cliff, like this. Very cool knife. Oh, it was a box my friend made. He has a special machine, and he makes boxes for. Any number of things, games, knives, pipes, uh, so high design, he sells on Etsy if you're interested. He has plenty of stuff there. Um, this one <clears throat> is, it's called the Sow Belly Moose and Thrifty Knifty has the black and red one of it and they call it something else but I think it's the same knife this thing was uh, $16.99 $17 Smoky Mountain Knife Works it is almost perfect or it is perfect I have see zero gaps in the back springs the blades both of them are perfectly centered the pole this is Rough Rider walk and talk This is the main blade. It's got some swedging at the top. The grind actually looks really even. It's razor sharp. I'm not going to cut paper here. Here's the other blade. More of a Turkish clip point. Um, I, just, I really just got these because they were so affordable and I really like the Fox on there that doesn't have Rough Rider stamping and Thrifty Knifty's Niffy his video it was perfect too I mean oh look at it yeah it was perfect too I mean the quality is just incredible on these I'm really blown away um, Please check out his review. It's it's the black and red version of this. Very nice set of knives here. If you can get a chance to get your hands on them, I I would highly recommend them. Wow. I don't know how much these are going to be users. Like I said, I don't want to get them all super dirty. But, uh, yeah, 
these are nice to have in the collection. Again, it's the Arctic Fox. Um, this sow belly moose is RR2545. I know uh, Jersey Knife Guy has done reviews of these. Um, I have so many knives and so many things that I videos I need to make of that um, I'm just going to knock them out one at a time. Sorry, I do not have any measurements for you today. I need to get a good ruler setup system. Um, but highly recommended. And thank you, uh, North Star Reviews, for showing me this knife. Never had seen it before. They have it like in a cherry blossom acrylic, but it has a Rough Rider stamp. Uh, so I figured I'd go with this one. Very cool gentleman's carry. Almost used it last night at my friend's 70th birthday. But left it at home for a different gentleman's carry. So yeah, let's uh, compare the... A little bit more pointy ears on this one. More fox-like. For some reason, the smaller shields, they get the rounded ears. Doesn't bother me as much. Other than that, they're pretty pretty perfect. Thank you guys. Have a great day.